right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am your brother, Mashiach Arazaka, from the servants of Yahweh, Wai, Yahweh Shai, Camp Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, pretty much we're going to go into this lesson. It's going to be titled as the Star of David, which they call the Seal of David equals Molech. All right. This, the Seal of David equals Molech. All right, because there is no such thing as the Star of David. All right, and I've uh, did lessons on this a while back, but you got Jakes out there that literally still believe that the Star, you know, that the Star of David is, you know, is the actual star and actual symbol. Jake really believed in the Star of David. There is no Star of David. All right, that was created going back to uh, 740 A.D., by the man by the name of Kong and Bulan. All right, there is no star of David. This is the star of Molech. And if you a Jake that has this star around your neck, you need to take it off. All right, there is no star of David. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And um, we're going to go to the priest and get some precepts in. And then, um, you know, we're going to go <clears throat> into the secular history. All right. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Acts um, 7 and uh, 43. This is Acts 7 and 43. And here we go. This is Acts 7 and 43. It says, it says, Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Molech and the star of your god Remphan. It says, Figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon, right? Molech is a Canaanite god, all right? And the Israelites would sacrifice their children onto him, all right? Onto Molech, all right? So that's what Mal that's what Molech is, all right? And if you a Jake that have that star around your neck, you need to take it off, all right? Because you got other, you got certain groups out there that's teaching this madness that the star David is a is a is an actual star and David Ward. There is no star of David. All right, so you need to take that shit off. You know the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Ben put that order out years ago. There is no star of David. And if you're a Jake that's claiming to be a follower of Great Millstone, you need to take that shit off because Great Millstone don't wear no star of David. There is no such thing as a star of David. This is Acts five and twenty six. It says then when the captain with the officers and brought them without violence. For they feature the people, lest they should stone, lest they should. Salakia, wrong precept. It was, I was supposed to be at Amos, Salakia. Uh, I'm getting it out right here. I thought it was Acts, but it was Amos 5 and 26. Salakia. <clears throat> Amos 5 and 26, Salakia. I'm tired, just woke up. Amos 5 and 26, it says, But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and tuning your images. The star of your God, which ye have made to yourselves. Right. And it's and it's not biblical. All right. The star, the star of, 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 uh, of, of David, which is um, biblical. All right. So you're not supposed to wear the star of David. All right. Remphan was an ancient Egyptian deity worship. All right. Through its idol. All right. So the star of David is, is not. It does. It's not biblical. There is no star of David. Is what I'm saying. So if you a Jake that got the star of David around your neck, and you're over there wearing it and thinking it's it goes back to your forefathers, it don't because the star of David is unbiblical. All right, and it goes back to the Canaanites. All right, and it also goes back to Egypt. All right, which are the Canaanites, which is the Egyptians. All right, so you can't be wearing that. All right, that's not an Israelite custom. All right, it has nothing to do with being an Israelite. All right, it's really the star of Remphan. All right, Moloch is an idol. 
you know, later down the line, uh, Carzeria came down and adopted it and used it, you know, used it, you know, to uh, identify their own people, which goes back to Kong and Bulan. So you shouldn't wear that damn star. All right. You shouldn't wear that that star it has nothing to do with being an Israelite. And we're going to get out uh, Kong and Bulan. Gone. So when you go to Kong and Bulan, it goes into the secular history on letting you know how the star, so-called star of David was established. And there is no star of David. And we're going to read it because when you go back to Kong and Bulan in 740 AD, he used that as a symbol for their own people in Kars area. The Karzards used that star of Moloch and put it as the star of David. All right, and there is no star of David. So let's get it out. It says Bulan was a Khazar king who led the conversion of the Khazars to Judaism in 740 AD. All right, keep listening. It says surrounded by Muslim and Christian forces, being a pagan nation made him a target uh -huh. for invasion, for safety. He decided to convert his kingdom to a neutral belief of Judaism. And since the original Hebrew people were lost, see? So that's that's what they did. Because the Israelites, we weren't in Israel by that time. 740 AD, we weren't even around then. We were already out of Israel, all right? They were lost, all right? So it says, taking their identity, which they did, it caused ours, they took our identity, they put themselves up as Jews, and they're not even the true Israelites, all right? It says, and hiding its pagan rituals and language within the Hebrew characters, which is, which is known as Yiddish. They started adding vowel points to the Hebrew. That's why when you look at uh, the Yiddish Hebrew, it got, hella vowel, it got hella vowel points in it, man. They got all these vowel points in the Hebrew, man, all right? It says, would would be easy it says in the scripture letters cause our king joseph traces his lineage back to king bulan and explains the reform of Khazar ruler obadiah responsible see for much of the kingdom's jewish conversion today's so-called jews are descendants of so the ones that's in israel today with the two curls coming down their heads with the hats with the suits and all that all right it says, i read that again. Today's so-called Jews are descendants of the Khazards and have no blood ties to the Hebrews of the Bible, which they don't. You so-called Jewish people, y'all not the true Israelites. Y'all don't descend from Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We are the original Hebrews. We descend from Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're the true descendants of the ancient Israelites in the Bible, regardless if you believe it or not. All right? The Khazards are not, those Jewish people over there in Israel today are not the true Jews. All right? It says they have cleverly hidden their identity from the outside world while inwardly continuing their pagan Worship of their god Rimfan, also called Moloch, which is that stupid star that that Jake wears. It says, in worshiping the star of Rimfan, see, which is which they now call the star of David, and was the seal used to identify Karzaria. So you're not supposed to wear the star of David. Why would you wear the star of David? You don't need to wear that stupid ass star. All right, that star, it, it goes back to the Khazars. They established that as the star of David. There is no star of David. That's the worship of Moloch. It says, with, with their false identity, they've gained control of much of the world's leading industries. And there you go. So when you wear the star of David, which is this right here, all right, you worship in Renfan, which is a, which is a Canaanite god. You need to take that off your neck. That's not an Israelite custom, all right? So you need, if you got this around your neck, you need to take it off, all right? That's not an Israelite custom. So we read that again, Amos 5 and 26. It says, but ye have borne the tabernacle of your 
of your Moloch and Chunim, your image, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Right. So if you got the star of Moloch around your neck, that star, so-called star of David, which is the worship of Moloch, you got that around your neck. You better take that off your neck because that's idolatry and you will be destroyed. All right. You will be destroyed for having that around your neck. So, you know, that's idolatry. Take that off your neck. That is not an Israelite custom, man. All right. And this is Jeremiah 10 and 2. It says, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Right. So, do not learn the way of the heathen. Don't wear the Star of David. The Star of David is really the Star of Rephan. So, you don't want to wear that around your neck. All right. That is not an Israelite custom. All right, and you got a lot of jakes out there that get upset about it, but it's the truth. All right, you shouldn't wear that around your neck. And let's see what the Lord commanded us, commanded us in the ancient world. Exodus 20 and 4, Thou shalt not make unto into thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters under the earth. Right, so you're not supposed to be wearing the Star of David around your neck. All right. Verse 5, it says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of your fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Right, so you're not supposed to wear the Star of David. There is no Star of David. The Star of Rephan, which you call the Star of David, you're not supposed to wear that around your neck because that's not an Israelite custom. That's a heathen custom. All right? There is no star of David, all right? So there is no star of David, and if you're a Jake that's wearing that around your neck, you need to take it off, because you're worshiping Moloch if you wear that around your neck, all right? This is uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 23. It says, Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your power, which he made with you, and make you a graven image or any likeness of anything which the Lord thy power have forbidden thee. Right. So don't wear, you know, don't be wearing, you know, uh, uh, idol don't be wearing a uh, star of David, man. That stuff is idolatry. Don't wear the star of David. All right. Don't have no damn <laughs> cross around your neck. You know, don't wear those things. That's idolatry. All right. Those things are idolatry. The star of David is idolatry. That's a worship of Molech. All right. So let's get out one more precept. This is uh, Deuteronomy 5 and 8. It says, Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. So right, there is no star of David. All right. It never existed. And it was established by the Khazars. They put that up as a... a, a, a identity I didn't to identify for their own people to you know to put themselves up as Israelites all right so they took the the star of Molak which is a star of red fan and put it up as a symbol for their people there is no star of David all right there is no star of David if you're wearing this around your neck take it off if you continually be prideful and have that around your neck you will be destroyed so, Lord, one, this lesson is edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Chachodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations, soul for elect, and shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word of truth, sincerity. I am your brother, Mashiach Arazakov, and the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Camp Las Vegas, Nevada. And Lord, one, this lesson was edifying. So again, there is no star of David. And if you had that star of David around your neck, take it off. So with that, little ones, that's edifying. Until next time I say, Shalom.